How can I cheat any proctored exam? Online exams are now common, especially with remote learning. They have benefits. But, students can cheat in many ways using technology and the internet. I am Daniel, online tutor and exam helper. Let's explore the ways to cheat proctored exam. Using external tools. Students often mirror their screens to external displays so helpers can see exam content. You can also use smartphones or tablets to cheat, accessing notes or communicating with others for answers. Sharing screens. You can utilize screen sharing tools to display your exam screen to another individual who can assist with the answers. Copying and pasting. Students may replicate responses from online sources or your notes. Virtual machine. A virtual machine is a computer-like setup. Some students use it to run an extra operating system to find answers during tests while proctoring software monitors their main operating system. This lets them search for answers without leaving the exam interface. Impersonation Students can have someone else take an exam for them, often by impersonating them before or during an online assessment. This is facilitated by the limited authentication done by most online proctoring systems, which typically only occurs before the test begins. Teamwork you may collaborate with others during exams, using chat or video conferencing, to share answers or receive assistance. Fake IDs Verifying identities is simpler in in-person tests with a proctor. However, online tests, especially those without monitoring, make it challenging to ensure only the rightful candidates take them. You can impersonate others by using forged IDs, a problem difficult to detect even with webcam monitoring. Keyboard Capture Tools Students use keyloggers to record keystrokes, allowing them to see the answers typed by the previous candidate. Cheating websites. You may use websites that offer answers to exam questions. Exhaustive method. Another way, students try to guess passwords or break encryption to access the exam using brute force. Malicious software. Candidates also use harmful software to access the exam or the supervisor's computer. I hope this will help you to choose better option. Subscribe to Daniel Exams for more insights into acing your academic challenges. Drop your questions and experiences in the comments below. Happy cheating, and I'll see you in the next video.